So after hearing this plugin, you may not want to buy an amp sim ever again. Hey everyone, welcome back to Make the Music. Today I'm exploring a free plugin that I had no idea how it didn't end up on my radar at this point. It's called the Neural Amp Modeler by Steve Atkinson. It's an amazing free, amp, I guess you could call it amp sim plugin, but more of a modeler in terms of people actually upload profiles and amps that you can use for free in your DAW. I'm gonna check it out here, show you all the features, show you where to download. This is an incredible, amazing tool that I would have killed for back in 2016 or 2017 when I started getting into recording because it sounds amazing. There's so many great options and it's lightweight and 100% free. So let's get into the video here. All right, so I am in my DAW. I wanna show you all real quick where you can download this thing. There's two links that I'll put in the description box. The first one is neuralampmodeler.com. This is where you can download the Neural Amp Modeler plugin. I believe if you just click play, um, download the Windows installer. There you go, you'll get it set up and running. That's pretty straightforward there. Load it into your DAW. The second place you're gonna wanna look is tonehunt.org. This is where actually they have an entire library of 9,000 amps, about 3,000 pedals and 3,000 IRs. This site is totally crazy. I've been exploring it the last few days. I'm gonna show you some of the presets I stumbled across um, the last few days. I'm gonna open my, up my DAW and show you, but download that first one, that first link, and then go here and pick out some tones so you can follow along with me. But I'm gonna explore this plugin in my DAW. So I'm back in Reaper here. Let us load up the Neural Amp Modeler. It loads up really quick. It's very simple. Okay, this isn't like a crazy uh, plugin that's supposed to have an amazing display, but it is very simple to use. Okay, so the real main key here is loading a model and an IR into the actual amp sim. You can see there's also a number of controls as well, including, including gate, bass, middle, treble, input and output, all the standard stuff that you're gonna need. You can really take care of everything else with internal plugins, your DAW. That's basically all you need to, to start with. So let's go select model. What I did was I downloaded everything into a, a documents folder on my computer and it just goes right to that. So I downloaded a bunch of stuff. We're gonna try a bunch of stuff out here for my actual amp. I think I'm gonna start with the Marshall JCM 800. Let's load that up here. Some of the amps actually come with IRs included and some of them you have to actually select the IR. It just depends. So I'm gonna go here. Let's see if I can find a nice IR pack here. We've got some Mesa Bo Boogie Vintage 30 IRs. Let's check those out and let's start playing the plugin. All right, that's obviously a great clean tone from the JCM 800. Let's see what else we got here. Wow, that sounds really good for just, you know, a couple free downloads. Let's see what else we got here. Remember, your IR is going to have a big impact on. So you see all the mic positions someone has profiled for this. Great. That sounds like a Marshall. Sounds like it'd be <laughs> mic'd up with the JCM 800. Let's see what else we got here. This JCM 800 Zach Wild Edition. Let's check this out. Wow, I mean, I'm blown away by how good that sounds. I've only selected one IR. Because it's community-based, people can submit things um, and just add them to the tone hunt. And so you could add your own stuff if you want to. We've got some Randall cabs. Let's see what we got, SM58 new. I mean, you could easily throw this on any plugin and add it to your mix. It sounds that good. It's a little quiet, so I'm gonna up the output here. You could throw easily throw like a stock, uh, you know, reverb, delay, whatever you want it on this thing. I'm up the gate a little bit, and you're pretty much good to go. This is totally insane, tone wise, for being 100% free. Let's look at what else we got here in the Zach Wild one. You can mess with the EQ. Turn it up, turn it down if you wanted. Let's find a new cabinet. So that was a Randall. I downloaded a couple different cabinet packs here. Let's see what else we got. We've got dark glass, a, cu a custom vintage. Let's see what we got here for this one. Yeah, that sounds, wow, really good. Let's see what else I have. There's a Vox 
There was a Vox pack I was interested in. Vox AC15, crunch normal. Lower the output here a little bit. I'm going to put normalize on. Yep, that sounds like a Vox. We can even rotate through cab positions. That's crunch normal overdriven. I mean, that's, that's freaking spot on. These profiles are incredible. I can turn the bass down, add some mids. It's a little unnecessary, but it's got an EQ of built in. So you can totally do so much with this. Let's see what else I had. I had a PV5150 uh, clean. Let's see what the clean one sounds like here. Super clean. Let's see what else we got. I want to find some crunch or distortion channels. So you can see there's a ton of channels. Some some people include with this. Look, it's like every option uh, available here. Let's see what I have. Oh, we got lead. We've got lead here. We live in such a crazy era that a tone like that can be 100% free. All you'd have to do is this, really. Let me throw some delay on there. To get some lead sounds. That's just mind blowing to me. So that was the PV5150. What I wanna see is I had a 6505 as well. Let's see what that sounds like here. Uh, let's see, high. You can see there's a lot of settings here. Let's see if I can get a, a gained tone. And that's what just this cab position, here's this cab position. Super low end heavy. Let's go back to, and this is just a small, small sample of the stuff I downloaded um, uh, that they have on Tone Hunt. They have so much stuff on Tone Hunt. That might be a better cab. So that's the 6505 or 6506 red channel on the PV there. Let's see what I haven't uh, explored yet as well. They also have bass, town, bass sound, so Ampeg, and they also have pedals. So they've also modeled pedal as well. So if you want to stick a pedal before uh, any of these sounds, you can go ahead and do so. If you're interested in modeling your own stuff, they have some instructions on how to do that on their website. I'm not quite into modeling my own calves and things like that. I know that's a complicated process, although it'd be fun to be able to take captured sounds, almost like a Kemper and profile, like a, a, a wave file, for instance. But I didn't see a direct way to do that. Something like tone match and bias. I'm not saying that that's a knock against the plugin. This is free, so I'm going to be happy with whatever I get. Um, but it seems like the capabilities were only built in for like modeling uh, your cabinet or capturing your cabinet or amp or things like that so you can totally explore that but i want to give you guys a quick run through of this neural amp modeler plugin it's absolutely incredible go to those two links in the description you can download this plugin and go to tone hunt and get a bu bunch of free stuff to get a bunch of free stuff to get started this is so insane how good plugins are getting in 2024 i mean 
if I knew something like this existed, or let's say something like this existed before I bought all my plugins, I might just be using this still, honestly. So if you're a hobby musician, you wanna get into this recording thing, start with a free plugin like this. There's so many good sounds. Use Reaper Stock Delay and Reverb, and you've got great guitar sounds, you're done. You don't even need to buy expensive plugins if you wanted to. Um, so that's, to that's totally cool there. Speaking of free plugins, I have a free guide called the Home Studio Toolbox. It's a free guide with plugins like the Neural Amp Modeler in it for drums, bass, guitars, synthesizers, sample packs. There's a whole bunch of free stuff to help you get started creating your own music in your home studio. So go ahead and check out that guide. It's 100% free in the description box down below. Please like and subscribe to the channel to continue to show some support so I can keep bringing you this content. And anyways, I'll see you guys next time.